This is Loki, and he's a four-year-old woolly Malamute. Loki has been turned away by previous groomers, suggesting he is too matted and he either needs to be shaved or he needs to be sedated for grooming. He's here today in the hopes that I can save his double coat and do it comfortably without sedation. Okay, Loki. Are you going to be a good boy? Are you going to be good? I've been told that Loki likes to throw punches. And that doesn't surprise me because he's an Alaskan Malamute. It is extremely hot today. We have a heat warning out. That's why I gave him some water before we started because I'm sure just on the car right here he was probably hot. I am being careful not to give him too much water because dogs like Malamutes and other kinds of dogs, for example, will drink and drink and drink and drink until they actually can cause themselves bloat. So I did take it away from him because I felt like he was overindulging. I'm just going to soak him down first. Normally I just go straight to shampoo, but because he is a woolly Malamute, it's going to take a while to get him wet. He has been groomed before. I've been told that he doesn't love being brushed. What a surprise and he doesn't love having his paws touched. What a surprise that is as well. So we shall see how this goes today. He seems to be compacted in certain areas, not all over, so that's good. Okay, now we're going to switch to the first canister of soap, one of three. Good boy. Don't back out. Don't do it. Okay, so his undercoat isn't even wet. What a surprise. So I am going to rub this in as best I can, and then I am going to rinse him come here, with the hose without the nozzle to try and get that undercoat wet. And then I'm going to shampoo him again. You kind of smell like a skunk. Did you get skunked this year? Yeah, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it is dry as a bone under there. Of course it is. You got some thick fur, big buddy. Stay there. Can you turn this way? Don't turn again. Okay, thank you. Wow, you really like to move, eh? Big fan of twisting and turning? Are you gonna try to do that on the table? That won't be fun. Okay, now this is lathering much better and down to the skin than it was before. Now you are really wet. Yep, you definitely don't like having your paws touched. But they are extremely fluffy, so I hope that I'm going to be able to trim them up. I don't have help today. I'm on my own, so hopefully it all goes well. Okay, so he just needs a little bit more soap in his back end, mostly because he keeps hiding it from me. So I'm having a hard time getting it wet and soaked up. Oh 
boy. It's much better. I'm gonna rinse them down and then I'm gonna give them some conditioner. All right, his bath was 30 minutes, which actually isn't that bad for a woolly Malamute. I'm gonna put him up on the table and then I'm going to continue his towel dry on there and then we're gonna start the lovely blow dry. Okay, so before we get started here, there's just a big mat right here that I'm just gonna shave out because it's kind of pointless for me to try and dry it. I'm gonna shave it with a 10. He has so much hair that I should be able to disguise it after it's been shaved. Sorry, buddy. It's just a really, really big mat. And now you won't even be able to tell because the hair is just going to fall over it. He seems pretty compacted in his chest here. We shall see how this goes. A lot of people ask me why I don't give the dogs eye protection. So I'm going to just try to answer that as best as I can. Uh, number one, most dogs are not going to be okay with wearing something on their face, covering their eyes in any way. And number two, dogs do not have the same reaction to things being in their eyes as we do, um, especially when it comes to fur, considering they are covered in hair and their hair probably goes into their eyes on a daily basis. I'm sure if you're a pet owner, you've witnessed hair in your pet's eye and they just don't seem to care. Their eyes are clearly not as sensitive as ours are, especially when it comes to hair being in the eye. So yeah, that's the reason. Okay, happy hoodie. Oh, your big head. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, now that I have blow dried him quite a bit on this side, I'm gonna switch over to the thinner nozzle because that will help me to remove that undercoat that really wants to come out.
Okay, I see some big mats in some certain spots that I'm just going to remove before I keep drying. Loki is a extremely well-behaved dog. I have no complaints so far, but he keeps backing up. So I might have to put him in the groomer's helper in order to be able to finish his back end properly so that he can't back up as easily. The matting under here is pretty, pretty dense, boy. Okay, he had a decent break, drank some water, laid down, and now we are going to continue with the other side. Let's put this back on, buddy. He is honestly a extremely well-behaved dog. For a Malamute, I am very impressed with this dog's temperament. You're a very good boy and you're super affectionate and loving. Okay, so blow drying with a 15 minute break took a total of two hours. So currently he has been here for two and a half hours. Now it is time to brush and I do think this is going to be his least favorite part. So hopefully he tolerates it. Before I brush though, I do think he has some matting behind his ears. So I'm going to shave those out. Yeah, there's a big one there. Okay. Let me see this side. Gonna be nice boy. You've been good this whole time. Good boy, Loki. Don't give me the side eye.
You are so sweet. Are you a good boy? He likes to give hugs. Maybe I'll get that on tape after. If you ask for a hug, he will give you one. Yeah, that's the worst spot for them, I swear. It's in here, they just, it's not matted. It just has like these little mats that I'd like to get out. But if you don't want them brushed, forget it. I'm just gonna shave them. It's okay, it's okay. Don't growl at me. Before I use the slicker on him, I'm gonna spray him down in the stuff for dogs. This is gonna make brushing easier. And if he growls at me again, I will put him in a muzzle. Yeah, you heard me. No growling, it's just rude. Your coat's actually in pretty good shape. This really shouldn't cause much, if any, pulling. Okay. Do you know how much matting I shaved out of you so that you wouldn't have to endure pulling? Do you know? Just brushing gently, I wanna see what his response is. She said he can be mouthy, but he doesn't bite, but we're not gonna see if that's true. Good boy, good boy. See, I removed all of that matted hair, okay? Despite this dog clearly wanting to lay down, he has not even sat the entire time I've been working on him, which is great. He has made my job very easy, which I really appreciate, Loki. He is so soft. I can't even explain to you how soft his fur is. It's like a cloud. <laughs> No growling. You be nice boy. Good boy. I am going to go and get a treat. I wanna see if he is food motivated. I highly doubt it, but we will see. Oh great, now you're drooling everywhere. No. I do think that his growl growls are all bark and no bite. So far I haven't seen him lunge, but... Uh. No. I know that I am... People will say like, as soon as they react like this, why don't you muzzle them? The reason why I don't just jump to muzzling is because sometimes the muzzle can actually stress the dog out more, especially if they're not used to wearing one. So I don't wanna cause him more stress if I don't need to use the muzzle. So I just wanna see how he's gonna be. He's been an extremely friendly dog this whole time. And the only thing that I might have to muzzle for would be the paws, potentially. So I try to switch from brushing one area to brushing another. Just as when I notice they're starting to get a little bit stressed out with one area, I'll just move on to the next. Usually dogs don't mind having their head and ears and neck brushed. I think that's just a part that is less sensitive, so you can pull a little bit harder and they tend to not get upset about it.
Okay, I'm gonna turn them around and do the other side. Good boy, good boy. I'm gonna give you more treats. There's a big mat in there. So I like to shave the sanitary a bit because as you can imagine, every time he pees, he probably pees all over himself. So I'm shaving that up and the hair in front of his penis so that he doesn't pee all over it. Loki, we can do without the dramatics. So normally I clip nails first and then I shave out the paw pads. But I just wanna see how he's gonna behave for his paws before I go ahead and start clipping his nails. Clipping his nails might agitate him because that's what most dogs don't like. So I'm just gonna try and shave his paw pad first. Okay, see your paw. Good boy. Good boy. Stay. Good boy, Loki. You have the grinchiest feet of life. Good boy, stay. Oh no. Stay. Good boy. It's okay. Good boy. Good boy. Got some matting in there, buddy. There. Good boy. Good boy. No, stay. Good boy. Excuse me, sir. Could you please keep your foot down? Good boy. What a good boy. Good boy. Can I see your dewclaw? No, nope, stay. Your dewclaw is literally covered in hair. I can't see it. Stay. Okay. Back ones are probably very short, but stay, buddy. Okay. Ah, that drool is just lovely. Thank you for that. 
Stay, buddy. Stay, please. Good boy. Stay, stay, stay. No. Come on, buddy, stay. Oh, Loki. Tip, tap, toe. Sweet lemon and sugar cane today. Okay, so in total, he took me three and a half hours to groom, and that's because his coat was in fairly good condition. He lost quite a bit of fur today. I'm gonna let him outside for just a little bit because it is very hot out today. His paws aren't exactly as I would like them to be because he liked to tap dance a lot, but it is what it is. Loki, you wanna go side? You wanna go side and you wanna treat? Let's give you one more treat because you definitely deserve it. You're a really good boy. You might notice in spots like here, there's some hair missing. That's because I shaved out matting here. But if I take this short to match, which I could, but then I need to do the same thing on the other side. So I'm just going to leave it because I think it'll be a little bit too short if I did that. Here. Good boy. All right, Loki, let's go outside. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you again in a few days. Get over here, you little dog. Come here, up, up. Come over here. Come here. Come here. Come here, up, up. Look, over here. You don't have to go on the table. Over here. Loki, up. He's so cute. Are you a good boy? Are you a good boy? Loki was outstanding for his groom today. He most definitely did not need sedation, and his coat was easy to save. I really enjoyed my time with him. Thank you all so much for watching.